Hello and welcome to Airlines 101 with Laura. I was talking with some students who asked for a video about how to become an aircraft dispatcher. There are tons of videos all on YouTube about what a dispatcher does, but there aren't really very many about how to actually become an aircraft dispatcher. So without any further ado, let's talk about how to become a dispatcher. This found, if you want to look it up and follow along in 14 CFR, Part 65.57 specifically allows a person to become an aircraft dispatcher with a certain amount of experience and then they can take a practical test. So let's look at what that experience actually counts. It In 14 CFR it says in the last three years you have to have two years of experience in one of the following areas. First off in the military as a pilot navigator or meteorologist, second off in a part 121 operator. So we're talking air carriers certificated in the United States under part 121. If you have a pilot, flight engineer or meteorologist experience two years out of the last three years, or if you are working as an air traffic controller or flight service station specialist, then you can take that experience and just go to an FAA designated aircraft dispatch examiner. They are called DADES for short, designated aircraft dispatch examiner. And you can present yourself and say, I have this experience, I have documentation of this experience, and I want to take the practical test. We're gonna talk about that in a second. The other part that 14 CFR 65.57 says, any other duties acceptable to the administrator. I have no idea what that means. So here you go. Um, but if you go to a designated aircraft dispatch examiner, I am sure they would tell you what they're looking for. They may not even know. So basically two in the last three of military part 121 air carrier or ops position. All right, so let's say you don't have that uh, experience. And so what do you do? The other option for you is to take option two, which is take a dispatch course. So you want to make sure you're taking an FAA approved training program. There is a list on the FAA website. I will put a link in the notes for this video uh, where you can find the search engine. You can, you can find the list of approved programs. There's usually between 50 to 51 to 48 programs of training approved in the United States under the FAA. These programs are gonna be at least 200 hours long. Some of them are longer. There are standalone training programs that will take you from zero aviation background to becoming a dispatcher in five to six week time frame. These are challenging programs. If you have no background at all in aviation, they can be done. There are a bunch of different schools. Again, you can check the FAA's list and find a school. Uh, you can also do a degree program. Um, there's a, a fair amount of universities and colleges and technical, uh, technical colleges that have a degree program that is focused on aircraft dispatch. Sometimes it's part of a larger degree program. I know where I work and teach at Letourneau University, we have an aviation management degree that then has a dispatch focus. But we also have the ability for many of our flight majors, they can just add on our dispatch course. And we conduct our dispatch course as a summer only class, but there are other institutions that run their dispatch course during the semester. Again, so it's, it's going to be some sort of FAA approved training program. You can find it on the list. So you finish this dispatch course, you're gonna get a graduation certificate, and then that allows you to take the practical dispatch exam. All right, so let's talk about the actual certificate requirements. Number one, you have to be 23 years old. Um, you have to be able to read, speak, write, understand the English language. And that doesn't matter if you're working in another country, you still need to read, speak, write, understand the English language. And then you are going to need to pass the FAA's computer exam which is referred to as the ADX exam. That is a knowledge test 
There is a huge question bank. It is very similar to the FAA's Airline Transport Pilot Knowledge Bank. If you watch some of my other videos, I have some test prep videos about that to help you with the, some of the questions and the figures. But basically, you study, pass this test, and that's not it. Then the last step is going to be pass a practical test, which is with, like I mentioned earlier, the de Designated Aircraft Dispatch Examiner, or DADE. They are going to, uh, it has to be an in-person exam. They are going to have you basically plan a flight for a transport category aircraft. In the class I teach, we use the 737, and you have to plan a flight. Uh, it is a paper flight planning exercise. You do not get to just use a computer to do this. And then you spend generally two to three hours planning a flight, doing everything needed, and then you end up spending another couple hours, two to three hours doing answering questions from that examiner. And that is what is the practical test. The date is going to charge you money for this test. You have to pay for the test. If you pass all these things, so you pass your practical test, then you will be issued your dispatcher certificate. Yay! So your dispatcher certificate never expires. So that's awesome. Uh, the only thing is you can't really do anything with it unless you are working for an air carrier. And then you have to go through the air carrier, part 121 air carriers training program. Once you pass all that, it's going to involve you being supervised while you're working and you're going to have to be checked and all that. You go through their training program and then you can work as an aircraft dispatcher. So one other thing I should mention about the age 23 requirement. Uh, at our training program at Laterno, we can have people who are 21 go through the training program uh, and when they finish everything, they can do the test, they can do the whole training, everything, they do the knowledge test, they do the practical test, but then they have to, they get a letter of aeronautical competency from the FAA. They then take that letter and hold onto it until they turn 23. Once they turn 23, then they take the letter to the FAA managing office and then they actually get issued their actual aircraft dispatcher certificate. So that's in short order how you become a dispatcher. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe the videos. Check out the other ones about what do dispatchers do on YouTube. I have some airline tours. I have some test prep videos to help you out with your studies.